What is up, you guys? It's Warren with Scale Audio. Today, we're going to do an in-depth on the brand new plugin in FL Studio 21, the multi-band delay. Please like and subscribe. Let's get started. Here we have our multi-band delay. Now, these blue lines are going to be our amount of delay for each and every single one of our frequency. So we'll see 31. We've got zero millisecond, right? No delay. We got band two, 66.7 milliseconds at 47. For our frequency, we can go up to 2.3K and we see a 666 milliseconds. I really like using those sixes. Okay, so you'll notice we can draw, but it gives us this kind of curved model and situation going on. We can choose how we actually want to draw on here down at the bottom. So we have pencil, right? And we also have line. Line, click and drag. I'm creating a line. Up at the top here, we have three options. We have on, off, and locked. So if I want to turn a band off, that's what I can do. If I want to lock it, click again. Pretty cool. In our options, we can generate a random curve in here, which is cool for just getting some creativity and uh, finding a good starting point that you like. We can also reset. Next option we have is interpolate one to eight. Now what this is going to do is whatever you set one to be and whatever you set eight to be, it's going to create a smooth transition from one to eight so that this turns into this. To show the example, if I go to two and three right now, all these good ones, we're still at a default. Interpolate one to eight. I clicked it. Now, in each of these banks, we'll see a gradual change, which if you ask me, it's pretty cool. Now, not only can we choose our delay for each frequency, we can also choose our volume for each frequency and our pan for each frequency, creating even more creative effects that we can do within this one plugin. Now, on the left, we have gentle, steep, and linear phase for options. These are actually filter options. Gentle is going to be wider bands. So each one of these bands here well, is actually, it, they bleed into each other. So it kind of bleeds into the next. And this creates a more smooth, blurry, full sound. If we went to steep, however, there's less spillover and steeper frequencies for these crosses, which helps kind of separate those delays a little bit more. And then our linear phase option is just going to look ahead, do its linear phase processing, kind of like linear phase EQ would, um, so that those filters, as they're crossing, are crossing in phase, it's trying to keep everything in phase. Well, linear, line, one phase. Now, if we listen to this, we'll hear that there's no delay. Now, the reason for this is our scale option here. Now, this scale option allows us to go two directions. So we're either going to delay negative or delay positive. And I hope you can hear the difference. So delaying negative, I'll go extreme. Other way, right? Pretty cool little option and effect to be able to use. Now, this delay 0.1 option, that's exactly what it is. It's times you know, 0.1, which is going to bring this down one zero. And so this is actually, if this is on, you're in a 100 millisecond range. When it's off, you're in the 1,000 millisecond range. So right here, for example, this is 1,000 milliseconds on the far right. If I turn this, you'll now see in the top left here, instead of 1,000, it says 100. Switch it back, we say 1,000 again. Now, with harmonic scale, if we turn that on, the delays are actually set in semitones. So if you use this with a high feedback, uh, this is supposed to create harmonic resonances that are snapped into semitones. So it's supposed to be pleasing because it's actually snapped to different notes. Our weighting right here, if I click that on, that is also for the harmonic frequencies. And this is supposed to make those harmonic notes more noticeable. And it actually does this by lengthening 
the delays of the higher frequencies uh, because higher frequency content is less powerful, has less energy. Um, And because of that, they went ahead and gave us an option to boost it. So if we take a listen... See when I turn that off, the high pitch ringing, that high pitch harmonic. It went away when I turned that off. Now that's off though, I can push this harder. Now, next we have smoothing time. So smoothing time is going to be for whenever these delays and these delay times start changing. Now, the perfect example for this is if we were to switch banks, I'll switch to bank seven and you'll hear it pitching and changing. So we turn this up. Let's listen. If I turn this all the way down, then it'll just instantly switch. You won't get the dragging, pitching, and changing. But you do get these nasty pops. Now, if you don't want the pitching and changing, you can click Keep Pitch and turn it up. And now you'll no longer get those nasty pops, but you will go ahead and get a transition. So. Right, You can still hear it kind of dragging across, taking its time to change depending on your smoothing time, but you don't get the twangy-wangy pitch change. (laughs) Now, morph here morphs between the banks. So if, for example, I switch to bank one, you'll see the morph knob actually moves. I have to switch to A, it moves. So this is actually going between the settings on each one of those without you having to actually change the banks, which can be very good for automation. Now, next we have wet, which is how we're gonna handle the wet output processing. So we can either compress it, we can saturate it, or we can just straight up clip it. We also have a high pass, which we can use to filter the low signals out of our output. And then of course, our mix. And that is the multi-band delay. So we went ahead and went over all the separate bands, how to lock, turn them off. We also went over the different ways to draw in them and the different ways we can morph between different banks uh, using our interpolate option or even just drawing something separate in every single bank. We discussed delaying before or delaying after along with the harmonic options and the feedback and how that interchanges. Uh, We discussed smoothing when you're changing between banks and how to keep it from pitching or have it pitch if that's what you want, as well as the final output processing between compression, saturation, or straight up clipping. I hope this video was helpful. If you like this video, please like this video. If you have any comments, please comment. I always appreciate a subscribe. Sworn with Scale Audio. Adios.